Hey, I'm Jonathan from Upco Aviation. I'm going to tell you the secret of what's the real problem for all the instructors, professional and manufacturers in this field of paragliding and paramotoring. Problem is that they've been flying for so many years and have so many hours under their belt that they already forgot what's really difficult for beginners. So uh, we came back to basics and uh, tried to understand what do beginners need and uh, uh, we took our lift easy risers and decided to simplify them and make the risers for the lift too easy. What did we do? Firstly, we shortened the length of the branches of the A, B and C, D. So shorter branches means less twisting, uh, easier sorting out of the glider, especially in reverse launch, easier finding the A and the B. We also simplified the number of branches. So instead of having one, two, three, four, five, we now have one here which is connected, A and split A, one B and C, D connected. Again, especially in reverse launch, very uh, important for beginners that need to understand where is the A, where is the B, everything uh, mixes together and it's very difficult to figure out what to do. Second, since this is a, a shorter, we had room here for two main points for uh, anchoring the wing to the power motor frame or power motor carabiners. So if you're using a high hookah point harness, uh, you're going to use this point. If, if you're using a low hookah point harness, using this point. And here you have two points for torque compensation if needed. Then since this is for beginners, and beginners are usually uh, pretty um, troubled with uh, inflation, taking off and landing, and not so much with the flying itself, we decided they don't need the full speed range of the uh, lift easy, and they decided we can take off the speed system that's here so we took off the speed system from here again less clutter easier to understand and we shortened the trimmer this is the full trimmer length we shortened it to be only uh, between the natural trim and the fully slow trim so a very small easy to understand trimmer you'll close it before landing to have the uh, slowest uh, possible landing and slow landing approach and during flight or during takeoff you can leave it like this which is the natural trim this correlates to the blue line here. Uh, now since this uh, riser does not allow to fly at the uh, accelerated flight then we decided that you don't need the tip steering. The tip steering is mainly for accelerated flight to save the uh, reflex profile shape so we decided we can take it off so here you don't have it. Again cleaner riser. Uh, last point since you have the two uh, anchoring points you don't need two brake magnets only one brake position no need to change the brake length no need to move it from top to bottom like, like here. So if using a high hookah point, you put it here. If using a low hookah point, you'll, you'll, you'll put it here. Here you have only one point that always correct, always fits both uh, possibilities according to what you're using here. And uh, now after you started flying and you're now uh, completely in control of the glider and you feel you want to take the next step, you can upgrade your lift to easy to a lift easy R by going to your uh, dealer and asking for, for him to change the risers between the lift too easy to lift easy R, lift easy R risers and some lines and you have a better, more capable wing that has a higher speed range and uh, more agile handling. Thank you and see you on the field.